Jude Bellingham is experiencing a difficult start to the 2024 to 2025 season, as he has yet to score any goals, in stark contrast to last season. So, what are the reasons behind the English star's drop in form? Injuries are an undeniable factor when discussing any footballer's form, and Jude Bellingham is no exception. In the 2024-2025 season, he has encountered significant shoulder issues, which have clearly impacted his playing ability. On September 21st, in a match against Espanyol, Bellingham was involved in a heavy collision, leaving him on the ground in pain. Although Real Madrid won 4-1, the sight of Bellingham clutching his shoulder left coach Carlo Ancelotti and the fans deeply concerned. Despite Ancelotti's efforts to reassure the media about the injury, the severity of the issue suggests Bellingham may be sidelined for a long time. Bellingham's first shoulder injury occurred in November of last year, during a match against Rayo Vallecano. This isn't the first time the midfielder has had shoulder problems. In the past, he wore a brace while playing for Borussia Dortmund. Shoulder issues have evidently affected Bellingham's ability to play, and he now faces obstacles in moving freely and competing in challenges. Last season, Bellingham wore a shoulder brace for an extended period which helped protect the injured area while maintaining his form. However, after the Euro 2024 campaign, he felt more confident in his movement and decided to stop wearing the brace. While this allowed him to move more freely and flexibly, it also made his shoulder more vulnerable during heavy collisions. After the match against Espanyol, Bellingham had to wear the brace again. This not only affected him physically, but also mentally, as the player worried about the risk of re-injury. This is one of the reasons why Bellingham has lost the confidence and explosiveness he had before, directly impacting his goal tally and performance. Bellingham's shoulder injury has not only caused difficulties in individual matches, but has also affected Real Madrid's overall fixture schedule. Coach Ancelotti and the club's medical team have had to seriously consider whether Bellingham should continue playing or undergo surgery to address the problem definitively. The prolonged shoulder injury has prevented Bellingham from completing full training sessions, meaning he cannot maintain top form, and his contributions to the team have significantly diminished. Real Madrid faces an extremely dense fixture list, with matches in La Liga, the Champions League, and the Copa del Rey. To meet the demands of each competition, every player must maintain peak fitness and consistent form, something Bellingham has struggled with due to his injury. If he opts for surgery, Bellingham could be out for 8 to 12 weeks. This long absence could affect Real Madrid's results in their upcoming matches. However, if he doesn't undergo surgery, he may not return to his best form, and the risk of re-injury will always loom. This decision is a challenge not only for Bellingham, but also for coach Ancelotti. Aurelian Chouameni faced a similar situation, and it was successful. But each case is unique, and there is no guarantee the result will be as expected. In addition to injury issues, Another important factor affecting Jude Bellingham's form is the tactical change at Real Madrid this season. The successful acquisition of Kylian Mbappe has led to adjustments in the tactical setup, directly influencing Bellingham's role and position on the pitch. Last season, Bellingham often played as an attacking midfielder, with many opportunities to penetrate the opponent's penalty area and score directly. He showcased excellent goal-scoring abilities with 36 goals and several key assists, becoming one of the key players behind Real Madrid's successful season. However, Mbappe's arrival forced coach Ancelotti to adjust the tactics to maximize the presence of the French superstar. Real Madrid shifted to a system that favored two forwards, with Mbappe and Vinicius Jr. at the heart of the attack. This has required Bellingham to drop deeper taking on a more central midfield role focused on controlling the game and defending rather than attacking. Playing in a deeper position, his opportunities to enter the penalty area and score have significantly decreased. He no longer plays as a direct attacking threat, but instead supports the back line, orchestrating the game and creating chances for the forwards. This has drastically reduced his goal-scoring opportunities and his direct impact on the match compared to last season. 
Another factor to consider when analyzing Bellingham's form is the psychological pressure after a breakout 2023 to 2024 season, where he stood out with a crucial role and many goals for Real Madrid. Expectations for Bellingham are sky high. Fans, pundits, and the media all expect him to continue his impressive form, especially after a successful Euro 2024 campaign. However, high expectations can become a burden for a young player like Bellingham. At 21, dealing with the continuous pressure of performing in challenging environments like La Liga and the Champions League, combined with ongoing injuries, has affected his mental state. The pressure to meet these lofty expectations could be one reason Bellingham can't play with the same confidence and ease as before. Young players often struggle mentally when dealing with injuries and not being able to perform at their best. In Bellingham's case, constantly facing injuries and tactical changes may have caused him to lose his usual confidence, leading to a dip in form. Internal competition within Real Madrid's squad is also a notable factor. With a high-quality squad and deep bench like Real Madrid's, no player is guaranteed a starting position, especially when dealing with injuries or poor form. The emergence of young talents and new stars like Mbappe has increased the competition Bellingham faces to secure a starting role in Ancelotti's lineup. With the coach's philosophy of rotating the squad to cope with a dense fixture schedule, players are often required to adapt to various roles. This demands that Bellingham continuously adjust to different positions, from attacking midfielder to a deeper, more controlling role. This variety of roles can sometimes prevent Bellingham from fully showcasing his abilities, particularly as he tries to regain form after an injury. Real Madrid's tactical shift has not only affected Bellingham's individual role, but also changed the team's overall operation. Last season, Bellingham greatly benefited from Real Madrid's all-out attacking play, where he had the freedom to move and was supported by pinpoint passes from players like Luka Modric and Toni Kroos. This season, the arrival of Mbappe and the tactical changes have resulted in Real Madrid focusing more on quick counter-attacks, with Mbappe and Vinicius Jr. as the main attacking threats. This style of play has reduced the midfield's involvement in attacks, and Bellingham, in his new role, has had to play more cautiously and take fewer risks. As a result, he has found himself in fewer dangerous positions in front of the opponent's goal, leading to fewer goals. Additionally, key midfielders like Modric and Cruz are gradually past their prime, and their connection with Bellingham is no longer as strong as before. The lack of cohesion with these veteran midfielders could be another reason for Bellingham's struggles in fulfilling his potential. In conclusion, Bellingham's dip in form during the 2024 to 2025 season results from a complex series of factors, including injuries, tactical changes, psychological pressure, internal competition, and a lack of support from teammates. This is not just a physical issue, but also a significant mental and adaptive challenge for the young English player. Coach Carlo Ancelotti and Real Madrid's medical staff will need to make tough decisions regarding Bellingham's injury and find ways to optimize his role within the squad. With his talent and potential, Bellingham can undoubtedly overcome this difficult period but it will require patience, timely support from the club, and most importantly, the player's own mental strength. Whether Bellingham can return to his best form will be a key factor in determining Real Madrid's success this season. The club's fans and management certainly hope that Bellingham will overcome this challenge and once again, shine on the pitch as he did last season.